Okay, so I've had a couple requests for videos, and um, most of them being uh, how to overclock your graphics card. Now, uh, the easiest way to really do this is to open up your Catalyst Control Center. This is for this is going to be an ATI only overclocking guide because Nvidia is lame. Okay, and you're going to go to graphics once you have the control center open. You're going to go to graphics, down to overdrive. And you're going to want to un... I don't think you have to, but there's a little lock right here. If you can... There's a little lock. See that? You want to unlock that, and here's your overclocking. Basically... It says enable ATI overdrive. You're going to want to click that and push it to the limit basically. As you can see mine hasn't been overclocked here. I do not use the Catalyst Control Center to overclock my card. I use a different program and you know with the ATI Catalyst Control Center's overclocking you can pretty much just ramp it all the way up because it's it's only going to go so far, it's not going to hurt it at all, and uh, it's pretty much just for fun. It's not really even going to give you any real performance boost. You're not going to get anything, really. So, what you're going to want to do is go to the MSI website. MSI, they make graphics cards. And you're going to want to download MSI Afterburner. Now this works with NVIDIA cards as well, but uh, look online for, um, well let me show you. Uh, you're going to download this program, and it's really easy to use, super easy to use. Pretty much just move the sliders, there's my core clock at 700. There's my memory clock, 475 on my 4350, and it gives you right up there, ATI Radeon HD 43 to 45. I've got the newest drivers, and uh, it's pretty pretty much that simple. Just move the sliders. Now you are gonna have to look, check out a few forums uh, on how to overclock using MSI Afterburner farther than the ATI Catalyst Control Center is gonna let you. Uh, overclock because you could go ahead and put this at 700 on whatever graphics card you have but it will automatically default to the highest overclock that the ATI Catalyst Control Center uh, that it's gonna default to the highest that the Control Center can do so I think it's 650 that is the highest that the Control Center can do it's gonna default so what you're gonna want to do, you have to go into a text file and just, um, I think it's just change a value to zero. Just look, look around, and uh, like my graphics card right now is stable with this program. It's 700 and 475 on the, on the uh, memory. And I mean, I play StarCraft. I've been playing StarCraft for days and days and days, and uh, I've got a lot of things running high. I'm gonna make another video for that. But yeah, it's called MSI Afterburner. Go ahead and download this program. Uh, and look around on how to bypass the ATI software for overclocking. And uh, yeah, you can do this with NVIDIA and ATI cards. Uh, the only difference really with NVIDIA cards is the voltage. You can adjust voltages and uh, the shader clock. Pretty sure that's... Uh, NVIDIA only. I'm not positive. I'm not really big NVIDIA fan. But, uh, yeah. So, here's your overclocking guide. Good luck. Uh, on this side of the program, it gives you, uh, GPU load, GPU temperature, uh, GPU usage, your core clock, what it's running at currently, and your frame rate. Uh, when you download MSI Afterburner, it also comes with a, a really cool tool uh, it's MSI um, on-screen display server. It gives you like a, uh, it would be in the top right corner, a frame rate, a little pink uh, double-digit frame rate up here. 
and uh, that comes in handy. It'll automatically turn on when you fire up a game, and it'll give you real-time FPS. But uh, basically, this is a program. Everybody's using it. This is what you need for overclocking graphics card. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and uh, happy gaming, guys.